Well, just setting out. Day three. So, going to call off at John O'Groats. Obviously, take the compulsory pick. And then we're going right across the north coast and right down the uh, west coast. Stay tonight is at Dundonnell Hotel in Inveray. And I've just got to reiterate what I've said already about the Alba Sunrise where I've just stayed. What a superb B&B. Lovely horse, Owen and Katie. Made me feel really welcome. But direct, they're saying though, if you want to save a bit of money. Uh, it's fairly new business for them. I've only been running it three months. Well, here we are, John O'Groats. Nice and early in the morning to try and miss the traffic. Mm. Well, I say nice and early, it's nine o'clock. Tick off the old checklist of places to go and visit. It's all right, nice and early, dead quiet. So onward on our little journey. So this is the part of the leg that I've really been looking forward to. North coast and uh, west coast today. 205 miles. Uh, sat nav saying seven hours. So hopefully uh, the weather's good to us and the traffic's calm. Nice view of the head over there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not. Have we got a ferry in port as well? And this is the uh, this is the reason why you should ignore uh, weather predictions. According to the weatherman, thunderstorms and torrential rain here, and obviously. If I'd have planned my journey according to the weather forecast, I would have missed out on this gorgeous day. It's 18 degrees. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Well, just after 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't think it could get any better. So we've just crossed onto the B855, so we can head up towards uh, Dunnet Head, UK's most northerly point. Obviously we've done John O'Groats, but we can't miss out Dunnet Head. So here we are, Dunnet Head. Viewpoint, number two on the list for today. Quite busy up here as well. Go and get some pictures. It was good to go there. Obviously, didn't want to miss out the other most northerly point, but uh, but not not much there. Lighthouse, very little else. So we're in Sutherland now. Sun's still out, still doing quite well, and uh, it's getting to be quite picturesque. course the compulsory white van man in front of course but you know what I'm actually not that bothered because this is a beautiful road and I'm just enjoying the scenery Sat nav saying 15 miles to the next fuel stop. So I've done approximately 50 miles since the last one. I might just top it off anyway. It's so obviously the next section is quite remote.
This is beautiful. Okay, so heading, as you can see, towards Tong, still on the A836. And uh, still following the NC500 routes at the minute. Just enjoying the sunshine. Ah, doesn't that road look pretty? Well, this little section of road's not very good. Uh, about five miles away from Betty Hill. Scenery's fantastic. The road's full of potholes. Ah, there we go. Freshly laid tarmac. Looks like they might be uh, in the middle of doing it. Very picturesque. I'll uh, pull over in a bit and uh, clean that screen. Oh, no. Looks like half of, I've got half of Scotland's midges on it. Now, early this morning at the Alba Sunrise, I actually nipped out, uh, phoned the wife, have a coffee. And uh, I'd not put my Avon skin sauce off on. And the midges were... Uh, relentless I was only out for five minutes it's covered in the little buggers um, but it's right what they say that even skin so soft my goodness as soon as I put it on no problem at all they're definitely worth switching the cameras on again the uh, obviously the camera perspective probably doesn't do it justice but uh, basically beautiful valley lovely autumn colors and then over in the distance right over there is um, the uh, mountain ranges absolutely glorious welcome to Betty Hill so apparently there's a petrol station here somewhere so we'll uh, top off there. I don't know if it's uh, mainstream or one of these self-service ones, but we'll have a butchers. One minute, look at that. People pulling over. Ooh, loose gravel. Look at that. Other side of Betty Hill. Beautiful. Very picturesque. Stunning valley. Well, we seem to be stuck behind a camper van and a row of uh, slow moving cars. And uh, again, I don't know if camera can pick this up or not. I'll have a look down there. But on either side of this road, there's no tarmac and it's like, it's cut away into like a dip. It must be for drainage or something, I'm guessing, during the winter. The snow starts melting. But, uh, but it would be lethal on a motorbike if you were uh, if you were to get caught in that you wouldn't get out not easily anyway and I'm on an adventure motorbike obviously we've uh, over all sorts of terrain but it's just a very steep uh, very steep dip
just for your information. Hey, these cars are obviously not going to pull over, so we'll see if we can dispatch them one at a time. Obviously very carefully. One down. Two down. And a driver that didn't look. We gave her the hard stare. <laughs> right. That's a little better. A bit of wind. beautiful again over in the distance the mountains absolutely stunning oh wow look at that Very pretty. Well, this is lovely. A oh, foresty bit. Nice twisty. No cars. This is more like it. in landscape and definitely the bits we've come to see the view that is not the not the uh, not the motor homes and caravan so obviously weather's uh, we've done all right for weather today to be honest September September the 15th today Stunning, absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Thought he was going to wait for us then, but like most of the drivers up here, it's not, I've not got a clue what's going on in his rear view mirror. Now then, somebody parked in a passing place. Please do not park in the passing places, it says everywhere. Another stunning view. How oh, beautiful. Like somewhat off a postcard, that isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's not North Coast certainly isn't disappointing so far. Absolutely stunning, 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 stunning. The only thing I find disappointing are people like this. 
Uh, I mean, I've got a lot of lot of lights on my motorbike, so it's fairly obvious and bright. Yeah, couldn't be bothered pulling over, stopping to let me pass. That looks like a, uh, a blooming horrible road. I'm guessing it was just one of the waypoints that I put in. But because uh, what I've tried to do is dot the waypoints as we're coming round, um, so that it maps out the route. You know, without trying to. Otherwise, it the sat nav would just try and take the fastest route or the shortest route um, to my end location. So welcome to Tong. A oh, beautiful, beautiful view again. Lovely mountains in the distance. So next stop, Durness. So it looks like we're going across uh, some sort of estuary. Oh, a niff of seaweed. Beautiful. this place here on the left hand side now that was somebody's pride on joy at some time in the past very very remote special little bridge beautiful What a beautiful, beautiful sight. Look at this. This is just stunning. What an amazing place. Those cloud formations. I say I've never seen anything quite like that. See that sign then? Allow overtaking. Lovely. Now this is proper thin road. This is like a footpath. I'm quite an experienced driver. I'm not sure I'd like actually like to bring a camper van down here. And again, on the side of the road, we've got that uh, that sort of channel dip thing. See it? I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up or not, but it, it's actually very, very severe. And like I say, it's got to be for drainage. It's got to be for when, to, when snow starts melting in, in, in spring. It's nice, isn't it?
Another person that doesn't understand the allow overtaking rule. Leave them to it. Bloody idiots. Often wondered what it would be like to live somewhere like this. The passing place though, mate. There's a passing place you've just come past, 20 miles an hour. Idiot. So that's the kind of, uh, that's the kind of attitude that you get and that guy must have been doing what, 40 miles an hour? Came swizzing past a passing place, expecting a motorbike to give way to him. Not going to let a fat, stupid like that spoil my uh, trip through the mountains. Very lovely this, very lovely. Look at it, incredibly beautiful, incredibly beautiful. Fabulous road. Absolutely fabulous. people on this zip line down to that lovely beach down there braver than me and wild campus as well down there this is nice isn't it look at that lovely beach down there Yeah, uh, looks like we're off in clothes again. You see that big monster truck then? I, was, I wouldn't fancy bringing that up in. Uh, Smooth Caves are down here. And, uh, I did promise the missus that I wouldn't go and visit Smooth Caves without her. So uh, we'll have to wait till next time we come up. And now we're in Foggy Durness. I'm guessing that beautiful beach I can see down there is Durness Beach. Again, look at that. What a view. Beautiful. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Well, we've got a mixture of the sound of motorbikes and beautiful scenery. Lovely. Plus I've got some decent music playing in the background as well. <laughs> 